farming farming is the ultimate source of food clothes beverages fodder for livestock raw material for agro based industries and many more other things farming is also called agriculture which means the science and art of cultivation on the soil raising crops and rearing livestock almost half of the world population is engaged in agricultural activities while two third of india's population is still dependent on agriculture farming is practiced in all over the world but due to difference in geographical conditions demand of produce labor technology it can be classified into two main types and i am going to explain about them So first is subsistence farming. Subsistence farming is practiced by small farmers to fulfill the needs of their own families. Traditional equipments and household labors are used to produce a small amount of crops. Subsistence farming can be further classified as intensive subsistence farming and primitive subsistence farming. In intensive subsistence farming, the farmer cultivates a small plot of land and uses simple tools and more labor in the cultivation climate with large number of days with sunshine and fertile soil permit growing of more than one crop annually on the same plot mainly rice is grown in this type of farming other important crops are wheat maize pulse and oil seeds intensive subsistence farming is very popular in the thickly forested areas of monsoon region of south southeast and east asia Primitive subsistence farming is generally practiced by tribal and nomadic people. It includes shifting cultivation and nomadic herding. Shifting cultivation is practiced in thickly forested areas of Amazon basin, tropical Africa, parts of Southeast Asia and Northeast India. These are the areas where annual rate of rainfall is high and vegetation regenerates very quickly. A plot of land is cleared by felling the trees and burning them. The ashes are then mixed with the soil and provide nutrients to the crops like maize, yam, potato and cassava. When soil loses its fertility, the land become abandoned and the cultivator moves to a new plot. It is also known as slash and burn agriculture. There are different terms for shifting cultivation in different regions. Like in northeast India, it is known as jhuming. In Mexico, it is known as milpa. In Brazil, roca, and in Malaysia, it is known as ladang. Nomadic herding is practiced in the semi-arid and arid regions like Sahara in Africa. In this, herdmen keeps moving with their animals for fodder and water to different places because in their area the rate of rainfall is low and climatic conditions are harsh. Animals like sheep, camels, yaks. and goats are commonly reared for milk meat wool hides and other products to the herdmen and their families it is also prevalent in regions like central asia some part of india like rajasthan and jammu and kashmir commercial farming in this type of farming farmers grow crops and rear animals for sale in market they use large farm for cultivation and large amount of capital most of the work is done by machines Commercial farming includes commercial grain farming, mixed farming and plantation agriculture. In commercial grain farming, crops like wheat and maize are grown for sale in market. It is prevalent in continents like North America, Europe and Asia. These are areas which have very large farms because they are sparsely populated. Severe winters restricts the growing season and only a single crops can be grown but in tropical and warm region two or three crops can be harvested in mixed farming the land is used for growing food and fodder crops and rearing livestock it is practiced in europe eastern usa argentina southeast australia new zealand and south africa in plantation single crop of tea coffee sugarcane cashew rubber banana or cotton are grown plantation require large amount of labor and capital the produce may be processed on the farm itself or in the nearby factories generally plantation are found in the tropical regions of the world example rubber in malaysia coffee in brazil tea in india and sri lanka